Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives. Uh, still working on engineering science and three uh, working on revisions uh, from past exam papers. We have a question which is uh, similar to one of the questions that we have done before uh, on friction from uh, the question paper of April 2015. So we are given uh, the first part of the question on 4.1 to name four applications, uh, four principles of kinetic friction, not applications, but the principles of kinetic friction. What uh, do we observe if we are dealing with kinetic friction? That is uh, the question. Okay, so from this part, we have uh, some of the factors or uh, the inference that we have. That is, friction actually depends on the nature of the surface in contact. So, which means if we are dealing with a uh, 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 friction in this case, it, it depends, that is the most important part, on the nature. So, it's the nature of the surface in contact. Okay, friction is independent of the speed. Also, friction is independent of the size of area in contact and proportional to the perpendicular force between the surfaces. So that is uh, what you're given in this case. All right, so let's check the other part uh, of the question uh, that you are given in this case on 4.2. During an experiment on an adjustable incline uh, plane, a block weighing 1,5 ton was placed on the plane. The incline is at an angle of 20 degrees to the horizontal. So this was supposed to be horizontal in this case. If the friction force is 225 Newton, determine the following. Okay, so take note, we, we have got uh, uh, an experiment that was uh, taking place in this case. So from the experiment that we are given, it was observed or it was seen that we had an object that was at the top. So you're going to have our object uh, in this case. All right, so let's say uh, this is our object. So from the object that we are given, we are given its mass, which is given in tons. So we're given that the mass of this block that is 1,5 tons. So from this mass, we can convert this to kgs. Remember, uh, that's 1,6 tons. So remember that uh, a ton is equivalent to 1,000 uh, kgs. If you are given one ton, that's 1,000 uh, kgs. So that means for 1,6 tons, we're going to multiply by 1,000, which is going to give us 1,600 kgs. All right, so this is our mass, 1,600 uh, kilograms or kgs. So we are having the mass in this case of this block, which is 1,600 kgs in this case. All right, so we are given that. The block also that we have, it's on an incline, okay? The incline is at, at an angle of 20 degrees to the horizontal, and there's a frictional force of 225 newtons. So you've got an angle that is between the block and the, uh, between this plane and what the horizontal, so we are referring to this horizontal line, which is our theta in this case. So the theta, that is the angle of 20 degrees that we are given. And uh, we can actually complete this if you want to just save it as a right angle triangle. So this is the perpendicular bit before, uh, that is uh, from the top to the ground, we are going to have our perpendicular height. Uh, sometimes maybe it can, might be needed. And we have got the frictional force. So if the, this body is actually moving downwards like this, it means the force, that is going to oppose is the frictional force, which is uh, referred to in the opposite in the opposite direction. Well, least we are having uh, the component in this case uh, parallel to the plane, and we have another component that is going to be perpendicular to the plane. If we are to take that one uh, as our F perpendicular or FC whatever that you have FC or this can be FS the or some. FY, FX, depending with the format that you are uh, used to or that is best in your presentation. All right, so this is just our diagram just to show uh, the information that you're given. So take note, we were given in this case the force that is uh, the frictional force uh, is 225 Newton in this case. So let's just write this aside. Maybe it might help us in our calculations. So the question on... Um, on 4.21 is to calculate the weight component. Take note in this case, if you're answering questions, please read and uh, 
understand the questions carefully, we are given to calculate the weight component of the block parallel to the plane. That is the weight. So whenever we are dealing uh, with weight, we are talking about mass times what? The gravitational acceleration. So when it is parallel to the plane, that means we are talking about F parallel, this one, or our FS. So remember, we've got our F parallel here, or uh, FS. So this is the one that you are going to use in this case. So 4.21. So our FS, which is our parallel component, the weight component, uh, is going to be mg uh, sine of theta, which is the weight w in this case. So mg, that is remember our g according to the gravitational acceleration. So the mass, we have the mass 1,600 in kilograms times the gravitational acceleration of 9,81 square meters. Uh, the formula sheet is given as what? I mean, um, uh, from our... It's 9,8. So uh, this depends with the value that you're given. It's one that I removed the, uh, I didn't uh, actually have the, the, the part from the beginning. So if you check the G that you are given is the one that you are going to apply uh, on that question. All right. So be very, very careful on the G that you are given because G can be 10, G can be 9,81, some 9,8, but in this question paper, it was 9,8 in this case. So we are going to multiply to the sine of the theta, which is our angle between uh, the plane and what the horizontal. So this is going to give us the parallel component in this case, that is our FS or F parallel. Okay, so uh, if you simplify properly, this is going to give us 536, uh, 5,362. Comma eight uh, seven six Newton. All right, so that was our four point two one. We move on to four point two two, where we are now given to calculate or to determine this time on the weight component of the block perpendicular to the plane. Take note, perpendicular. That is, uh, in this case, our F perpendicular FC. So you need FC and FC also from your formula sheet you're given, but this is given as FX, which is uh, MG cos theta. That is W cos theta or MG cos of theta. So that means our FC is going to be mass times the gravitational acceleration. Remember, the mass is given uh, in kgs, 1,600 uh, times 9,8 times the cosine of the same angle that we use uh, on the parallel component that is 20 degrees. Only that this time we are using the cos of uh, theta in this case. So if we are to simplify uh, properly, this is going to give us 14,734,38 uh, in Newton. So this is what you're going to have or, to have, or you can write it as 0.80 in what? In Newton. So that's your horizontal. I mean, that's your perpendicular uh component in this case the weight component uh of the block perpendicular to the plane then on 4.23 the smallest force required to pull the block upwards along the plane take note we need the force that is pulling up the plane to pull the block upwards so that's f up so in this case uh remember also you're given uh from your formulas and also it mentioned this formula for F up and also for F down. So in this case, we need F up. So remember that our F up in this case, okay, this is 4.23. So we know that uh, F up is equivalent to uh, the frictional force that we had in this case, which is the resistive force or the frictional force that we are given uh, class the component parallel to the plane, which is our FS in this case, and we have this part. So this is going to be our F up. So the frictional force, we have it, which is our FR in this case, the uh, due to resistance, which is what? 225. So we are going to add this 225 Newton to the parallel component, which is the FS. That is 5,362,876. We got this one before. So all we need is the formula. Then we can add up the value. So our F up is going to be 5,000. 
876 in newtons in this case. All right, so this is how we can determine or can calculate F up. All right, on 4.24, we are now given to calculate the smallest uh, part. Is it the smallest? Okay, that was the smallest one to pull up. Okay, okay, so this is uh, for 4.23. 4.24, the power, if the block moves at a constant speed of 10 meters per second, the power that is required. How can we determine the power? Take note, this object is being pulled up. So if we are talking about the force pulling this object up, we are going to use that uh, 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 force that is going up. If we are given the force that is uh, due to the resistive or to, to the resistance, then we are going to use the resistive force. But in this case, uh, we are supposed to apply uh, the one that is going up. This is the force that is allowing it to go up. And it also involves the frictional force. If you are to check here, we calculated it using the frictional force. So it's part of the formula. So that means we are going to use F up as the total force that the object is using. All right. So in this case, that is our power is equivalent to force times velocity. But the force, which force are we using? That is our F up, the combination of the frictional force and the parallel component. So this is going to be P is equivalent. Remember, we calculated F up. We got in this case 5,587,876 uh, times the velocity, the one that we are given in meters per second. Take note, we are given that the velocity is constant at 10 meters per second. So we're going to multiply by 10. The answer for F up, we multiply it by 10. That gives us the power. All right. So if you multiply by 10, we are going to obtain. Our power is 55,000. So this is going to be 55,878,76 uh, in watts. So we can convert this to kilowatts. That is by dividing by 1,000, this is going to be 55,87. The seven can change this eight into nine. So that is now in kilowatts. So we are having our final or the resultant power uh, or the equivalent power from whatever that you're given uh, in watts. So you can convert it to kilowatts um, depending with the, the values. If you have even bigger values, it's best for you to convert to kilowatts even if you are not given that on the question. Uh, you can have your final answer even in watts because here the question is simply calculate the power, okay? If the block moves, at a constant speed of 10 meters per second. So that's it. We can have either kilowatts or in watts. So these are the typical questions on engineering science and three working on uh, friction. They can be uh, typical questions of this nature. So we shall have more questions as we move on as a family. Maison African Motives, let's continue to invite other friends so that they become part of the family and revise as, uh, with us. So more light as we revise from Amazon African Motives until uh, we meet again.